Good morning students. Welcome to our video lecture on module 8A, lecture 3 on machining time. This is an undergraduate course of machine tools and machining, ME30604. I am Nilanjan Das Chakladar and this course is currently taught by four teachers, Professor Parthapratim Bandopadhyay, Professor Somitra Paul, Professor Sankhadev and myself in Mechanical Engineering Department, IIT Kharagpur. The content of this talk includes machining time in slab milling, machining time in face milling and machining time in end milling. So while discussing these different machining times, we will also see what slab milling is, what face milling is and what end milling is with some animations. So let us first see what a slab milling is. So look at this video which is made by Max.in which is really wonderful to uh, understand the slab milling process. So this plain milling operation or slab milling operation is essentially milling a slab of material. Now if we try to understand what is happening in this direction, so say this is the front view, then Coming to the machining time in slab milling, so this is again the front view. So you see this is the depth of cut, this is the cutter, okay, and essentially the cutter was fixed where the feed was given to the workpiece in this direction, okay. So this SM is the feed velocity, S is the feed per tooth, N is the rotation of the cutter, Z is the number of cutter teeth and LT is the total tool travel which we see here. So what is LT? We will come to the next slide. Now TM is LT over SM which we have already seen in case of turning operations and SM is nothing but S times N times Z that is feet per tooth times rotation of the cutter times number of teeth. Now if VC is given then obviously we have to find out N which is in RPM that is 1000 VC by pi DC that is the diameter of the cutter. Now let us solve a numerical problem and understand this further. So these are the information which is already there. So what is it? The diameter of the cutter is 200 millimeters, VC is 60 meter per minute, T or depth of cut is 5 millimeters which is this, then approach. So if it is coming in this direction, the approach plus the over travel, these take the value of 5 millimeters. Length of the workpiece, that is this, is 600 millimeters. And S is the feed, which is 0.1 millimeter per tooth. Now don't forget this unit, it is per tooth in case of milling. And Z, this is the 12, uh, 12 cutting teeth. So LT is approach plus LW plus R plus O. Because of the geometry of the tool, we also need to take into account R. This is similar to what we have seen in the drilling operation. So how we will we calculate? So for R is nothing but DC minus of DC minus T whole square. Okay, so this is the extra, extra travel. That gives... 654.44 millimeter as the total travel of the workpiece. So if we want to find out the machining time, now N, obviously we have seen before how to calculate N if VC is given, S and Z are already known, so that gives TM equals to 5.711 minute. Next is we'll look into face milling. So initially we have seen slab milling, now it is face milling, obviously it will mill the face of the workpiece. Let's look into the video. Again this is the same from Max.in. So as we can see the cutter is rotating and gradually the workpiece is given the feed in this direction. So again if we try to understand it from this view, that's the front view. So in face milling, the tool axis is orthogonal to the surface to be generated. The front view will look mm -hmm. something like this. So you have the inserts which we have seen in the video. This is the rotation of the 
uh, rotation of the cutter this is the depth of the cut and this is sm is again s times z times n now there can be two types of face milling one is symmetrical face milling another is asymmetrical face milling first look into let's look into the symmetrical face milling in case of symmetrical face milling the exit angle is equals to the entry angle why because if you look into this cutter axis it is exactly matching with the job axis so again we get this is approach this is over trouble this is r this is the exit angle this is the engage entry angle this is the diameter of the cutter and this is the total tool travel so what is that that is again approach plus lw plus r plus o so here we can see that this r is nothing but a function of diameter of the cutter and width of the workpiece if it was an asymmetrical face milling then there would be a gap between the two axes what are the two axes one is the axis of the cutter which is this another is the axis of the workpiece in that case r that is the the extra travel will be a function of dc width and that asterisk shown near this gap that is the lateral offset of the cutter now let us come to end milling so what is end milling let's again look into this cool animation so we see that it is rotating and again the work piece is being fed so end milling is an operation that produces narrow slots grooves ways and vertical flat surfaces so here we can see it has produced vertical flat surface again we will take a view in this direction that's the front view so this is the front view we can see this this is also taken from a uh, custom part net so what it shows is here that machining time is lt over sm which is like the previous one there is a l w r but here r is nothing but half of the cutter diameter plus over travel now if we look it from the top we'll see this view where we can see the approach r and o so what is r this is half of the diameter of the cutter now to summarize what we have learned machining time in slab milling machining time in face milling machining time in end milling and these are the corresponding expressions the main formula for machining time remains the same what differs is the value of the r in all the three cases thank you for watching our video hope you have enjoyed it please add our playlist video lectures of mtm Thank you for watching. Thank you.